showcase a stage to display one's talents from the unforgettable moments mankind has achieved his dream this is home on the biggest stage the boyhood dream what did we just see daniel bryan did it the miracle kid to the greatest conflicts from the biggest names but this showcase is about a man. A man who became a legend. A man named Stone Cold Steve Austin. After learning his craft from gentleman Chris Adams, Austin would begin his career in 1989. I've been very impressed by Steve Austin's ability. He's showing that he has a potential to go a long, long way. In 1991, the nation got their first glimpse of the future. From Hollywood, California, 253 pounds, stunning Steve Austin. Dominating, overpowering, arrogant. When you bring two world-class athletes together and they mesh as one, you create an unbeatable machine. And we will be unstoppable as a team. Count on it. But despite his success, no one saw a superstar. And when injuries sidelined Steve, the future looked bleak. Next day, I got a FedEx mouse and I was fired. I was like, I kind of sucked. Frustration took over. There's nothing going my way because the politics kept the biggest potential superstar in wrestling on the ground. Frustration turned to anger. We're gonna put the US title on you, and then we're gonna take you here, and then you're the number one contender, so then you got this world title shot. Well, all that never happened. And anger created opportunity. The ringmaster seems to really have it all. The size, the strength, the agility, the wrestling acumen. Austin would enter WWE as the ringmaster, but wasted no time turning himself into a more ruthless character. His peers dubbed him the ringmaster. I would suggest to you from the look on his face and his attitude, he's a stone cold, if anything. His moment was finally here. It's on the bigger and better things after King of the Ring, after I win it all. And nothing would be the same again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final match to determine the King of the Ring. It is scheduled for one fall with a one hour time limit. Approaching the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Steve Austin, ladies and gentlemen, went to the emergency room after his first matchup with Wildman Martin Marrow and had, I think, 16 stitches in his mouth and his tongue. And he has returned here, King, in the King of the Ring. Well, you know, I gotta wonder if on his way to the emergency room, if he saw Jake the Snake Roberts being whisked away in an ambulance. Ladies and gentlemen, the King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin awaits that man. And King, that man, Chick the Snake Roberts, earlier tonight took on Vader. Oh, man. It was not a good outing for the Snake. He got squashed in more ways than one. Watch this big Vader bomb. It's lucky there wasn't just a great spot left in the ring. 450 pounds doing internal damage. To what degree, we don't know, but Jake Roberts struggling, oh. struggling to even get his, his rip high on. His reptile bag up on the apron of the ring, and Jake is gingerly walking into the ring. This is a one ball match in the King of oh, the yeah. Competition, and the Rattlesnake 
showing uh, that he is wanting to end this quickly and convincingly. Oh, look at this, JR. What's he doing to him? He's uh, stomping a mud <laughs> hole and Jake the Snake, and now he is walking it dry. Nothing but high impact intensity oh. from a relentless, unforgiving Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's pounded poor Jake the Snake like a tent stake. No stopping the rattlesnake here. Austin is not going to give any opportunity for Jake Roberts to fight his way back into oh. this match. Nothing pretty about Austin's offense, but it's very effective. Oh man, here goes. Oh. Austin off that second turnbuckle, driving his elbows into the sternum, the ribs of Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh man, I don't know if poor Jake the Snake is gonna be able to get back to his feet. Great offense by Steve Austin. And Steve Austin is doing an excellent job dominating this match. His strike hits nothing but air. He catches him with the axe handle. You can imagine every one of those blows, JR. It's like thunder and lightning right into his belly every time he moves. Well, Jake Roberts had a choice. He didn't have to come out here. Yeah, but this is king of the ring. And you know, you'll do whatever it takes to win. Big right hand by Austin. Feeling it out, perhaps, here. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Expect that to happen. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. There's clearly something about his face that he doesn't like. He's showing no signs of letting up. That's it. He's done. The King of the Ring finals continues here. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ah, stutter. Stunner. With a stunner on Jake the Snake Roberts, and the referee counts his three, and Austin has beaten Jake the Snake Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout, and now reigning king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there you see Stone Cold Steve Austin, the new king of the ring for 1996. Man, this was some battle, JR. Austin went through some tough guys to uh, finally get to the top of the mountain. There you see him. What is next for Stone Cold Steve Austin? Is this? I'm just wondering how the rattlesnake's going to look with a crown on his head. Yeah, I feel him wear it. I wonder if this is the beginning of bigger things for Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth prestigious. King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin, an incredible victory. The first thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my ring. Don't just get him out of the ring, get him out of the WWE. Because I've proved, son, without a shadow of a doubt, you ain't got what it takes anymore. You sit there and you thump your Bible and you say your prayers and it didn't get you anywhere. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 3.16. Austin 3.16 says I just whipped your ass. Come on, that's not necessary. All he's got to do is go buy him a cheap bottle of and try to dig back some of that courage he had in his prime. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWE superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list, and that's Stone Cold's list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. It's... 
WrestleMania. As far as this championship match is considered, son, I don't give a damn if it's Davey Boy Smith or Shawn Michaels. Steve Austin's time has come. And when I get the shot, you're looking at the next WWE champion. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Obviously, anything but humble, the fourth prestigious king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin 316 says, I just whipped your ass. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Oh, wait a minute, look at that. Cheap shot. Oh, no. Stone Cold starter. Oh, come there on. you go. Come on. Stone Cold is the best there is. As Stone Cold continued to scratch names off his superstar hit list, there was one name that had eluded Austin's sights. I'd like to use this chance to issue a challenge against one Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart had been absent for the dawn of 316 and the man who had been raising hell all over WWE. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. I'm the best there is. I don't pay attention to a lot of talk. I'm the best there was. Especially when it comes from you. And I'm the best there ever will be. The hitman found himself in unfamiliar territory, the crosshairs of the Texas rattlesnake. The one thing that's been missing has been me. But the excellence of execution has never been one to back down from a challenge. In the Survivor Series, I will face Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're never gonna get through with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're gonna have to kill me first, son, and that's the bottom line, and it's the truth. And if I can beat Stone Cold, and I will beat Stone Cold, the rest is easy pickings for the hitman. Son, if you think Stone Cold Steve Austin is a stepping stone, We'll watch the first step, cause it's a doozy. Will Bret Hart be able to prove once and for all that he is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? We'll see who kicks whose ass. Or will Austin 316 stomp the hitman into exile? You ain't got what it takes anymore.